Today we release the report, All Children Matter, How Legal and Social Inequalities Hurt Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Families. The All Children Matter report was a collaboration between Family Equality Council, the Movement Advancement Project, and the Center for American Progress. And it is both groundbreaking, because it's the first time that we've ever really aggregated all the information, all the data that we have about who our families are, where we're living, how we're raising our children, and then laid out really a roadmap for how discriminatory laws and antiquated definitions disproportionately impact our families, and really most importantly, target our kids. If you have parents legally married under the laws of the state, one set of parents are entitled to certain financial benefits for their children, the other set of parents are denied those same financial benefits for their children. Are not those children of the second family, are they not at a disadvantage? Yes or no? It would be yes, and as you asked the question narrowly, Senator. It's really hard, I think, for our opponents um, who spend a lot of time talking about family values and, and how they're advancing um, policies that are good for families to then turn around and attack kids. And so when we take the high road on that argument, when we can lay out, no, in fact, the things that you do actually do attack kids. In fact, they hurt two million children. More often than not, agencies define family as either legally recognized married people or the legal relationship between a parent and child. So really important social safety nets for kids like access to food programs, access to housing, access to Head Start, early childhood programs, all of that is contingent upon them having a legally recognized relationship with a parent. And if they can't secure that, then they may not be able to access really critical services at a time when their family may be most in need. And that disproportionately impacts the kids. One of the things that people find so surprising are the facts, the hard data that we have about our families in the All Children Matter report. The state with the highest percentage of same-sex couples raising children in the United States is Mississippi. And the top 12 states, in fact, really encompass mostly the South and these bigger states that we have in the middle part of the country. And those are places where equality for those families are frankly at their lowest. My name is Mona Pittenger, and I've been funding the Movement Advancement Project for the past six years. I was born and raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's very much the buckle of the Bible Belt. I know of many people, men and women, who are raising children in Oklahoma as openly out gays and lesbians. And it is an amazing thing to see people in this state with so much courage to be able to stand up for what it is that they believe is their right as much as it would be a right for any American living in the country. I believe that information is power. I think that when you have data and you are able to present that data in a compelling way, you can change the world. What the report does is pull together in one very highly credible place the data that it takes for a legislator or a governor or a president of the United States to say, yes, these families count. Family is a really unifying core value to so many people in this country. I think the family piece of this movement is really critical to thinking about how do we make a bridge to our straight allies. I was at the New York Stock Exchange ringing the closing bell the day that the president came out in support of full marriage equality, and I was with six of our families and their kids. And so the announcement literally came in while we were standing in a holding room, and I was on my phone reading some of the language that the president had used, where he talked really poignantly about our families and about how important it was that they be valued, and I can remember I mean, I couldn't get through it without choking up. And I remembered looking at the faces of all these kids, and I remembered thinking, the world is an entirely different place today for them than it was yesterday. And millions of people were hearing the most powerful person in our country say, you have worth, 
you are valued, you mean something to me, and you mean something to our country. And I think that's just an incredible gift to be able to give to our families and in, in particular to give to the two million kids. I am thrilled that family equality exists and I think it's about to ride a demographic wave and we all, in all of our organizations, need to get ready for the family wave and, and invest in family equality. When funders and donors make an investment in an organization, they're doing more than writing a check. When other people see your involvement and your engagement, that is a stimulus to them. That can be empowering to them and you can serve as an inspiration. The inspiration that comes from that investment I think is just as important um, to the work that we do because it tells us, yeah, we see where you're going. We get a real sense of what your vision is. We have a lot of faith in your ability to execute it. And oh, by the way, we think that the constituency that you're trying to make the world a better place for matters.